Uh, Craig, Nottingham away this weekend. Obviously, we've been at home for the last few weeks, but uh, this feels like a really big game. Is that how it's been echoed in the camp this week as well? Yeah, we've had a pretty good start to the uh, first block of champ games. Um, Nottingham are going pretty well. Uh, they're fourth and four at home. Um, it's a really good opportunity for us to go away and finish on a big high in this first block of six. Yeah, they, you mentioned their, their home form. They're fourth in the league. They're having a great campaign so far. Um, what are we expecting from them? Uh, they like to play with ball in hand. They'll sort of have a good crack at us from anywhere on the pitch. Uh, defensively, uh, they, they fill the field and they're pretty organised. Um, so it's a good opportunity for us to go down there and, and really test our patience in attack and and, and be ruthless. Yeah, uh, Friday nights away from home are always difficult challenges. Um, kind of obviously this year as well for this group, probably diff different to what we're used to as well. So it could be, it could be a big challenge. Yeah, uh, it's our first away game on a Friday night. Uh, I personally quite like fr uh, Friday night games. Um, but yeah, good challenge, as you say. We're going to a place where a team are unbeaten at home. Um, and it's a good opportunity for us to get that full 80 in that we're looking for. We nearly got there last week. Um, and we were pretty happy with our performance last week against Coventry. It's just a real good opportunity for us to go away and make a statement. Yeah, in terms of our recent form, obviously seven wins in a row. So we head there with, with plenty of confidence. How, how good is the mood in the, in the camp at the moment? Yeah, it's really good. I mean, we've got a load of depth in the squad. Boys are working hard below and, and the lads that are starting are going well. So the mood's really good. Confidence is there. We're obviously we're winning games and in an attack, we're really prolific at the moment. Um, our defence is getting there as well uh, after a bit of a rusty start but yeah I think confidence levels are pretty high and once you get into these sort of winning runs that we're on it becomes a bit of a habit and we're learning how to close out games and manage manage field territory and everything that comes with it. Yeah that win over Coventry last week was certainly our best performance so far um, has that given us a bit of a benchmark do you think perhaps for, uh, for performances moving forward? Yeah definitely I think we've we put a big focus on that last 30 minutes at the end of the game um, so really t trying to uh, put the pedal to the metal really and, and finish the team off which is we've sort of been getting to half time in a lot of our games with bonus points on the, on the board and we've sort of let off the foot a little bit um, and I think it's just last week just shows that we do have that full 80 in us and we know we do it's just, uh, it's just that mentality going into that final 30 to be really ruthless. Um, this, I think this is your seventh start in a row. Um, you've certainly been uh, been in charge of that ten shirt this season. Um, are you pleased with how your personal performances are going? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's obviously nice to be in a squad where we've got those power runners I've got outside me. We've got a really good back line and first phase stuff is is really good at the moment. And that our pack are going well as well and it's yeah it's been really enjoyable to play some front foot rugby and, and score some tries yeah a lot of tens are renowned for their kind of kicking game but you seem to your attacking game seems to have come off your pass there's been uh, plenty of tries scored off that so it's clearly something you work on quite a lot yeah i think it's a strength of mine i think um on this surface we've got out here and the system we play in attack um it gives me a good opportunity to utilize that and and um yeah it's going pretty well um the battle with lawrence may and sam Oliver as well does that kind of keep you on, on top of your game at all the time as well yeah definitely i think all three of us are uh, really pushing ourselves and and we've got a pretty good connection going there as well um but yeah, having having boys really pushing you every day and, and performing really well in training is is uh, obviously a, a real driver to keep going. Yeah, a kind of recently formed partnership with Ryan Foley at half back as well. The last kind of I think it's three games or so. Um, you enjoying that partnership? Yeah, obviously Cart's got um, his ACL problem uh, earlier in the in the block, and Foley's come in and he's done really well. He's a real nitty gritty. Uh, fly half and I, I like playing with him he's uh, really enjoyable to play with and he's he's good around the fringes um, yeah this is, as we kind of mentioned this is the last game in the block does that kind of almost make it more important to get the win the fact that we can sign off with it with another win yeah definitely I think it's quite a while after this until we get back into league option, action um, so from a mindset point of view it's, it's massive that we go away and get that real good performance and get a win um, I say that performance, I think we'll take a win away from home against a side that are going pretty well um, for us to, to cement our sort of spot at the top at the moment and it's, 
it's good as you say confidence wise for the group yeah we don't get back into championship action until the 22nd of December after this for that break for the cup um, in terms of the start to the league campaign obviously we are we are top of the league going pretty well how would you kind of assess how we've uh, how we've began the season I think it's um, as I said we've, we're a bit of a force uh, in attack at times it's it's just that consistency and as I've said that 80 minute performance um, I think uh, the way we're attacking and the way we're defending we're good and we look we look good when we're, when we're playing um, it's just like say a case of us being a little bit more ruthless taking a couple more opportunities that are coming um, and really putting a statement out Yep, um, we've kind of touched on it already the fact that we do have that uh, that time off next week does that kind of give us even more reason to empty the tank at Lady Bay tomorrow? Yeah exactly I think it's been quite a long block um, quite a well deserved break for us as a, as a group we've been going pretty well as we said uh, but yeah there's no excuses to go there tomorrow and, and just let off the gas like I say we've just got to be ruthless throughout 80 minutes and, and we'll come good